Hello everyone. You can hear the beautiful Koshi bell. And it's uh, water connected. The theme is the element of water. I want to welcome you back after a short hiatus. I, I had a very intensive uh, week and especially weekend. I, I was getting married, so <laughs> I really couldn't find time to make dailies. But I'm back. Very happy. Very satisfied with everything that happened. Okay. So, I think um, I'm ready to make a reading for the 12th of September 2018. The deck is still the same. I really can't get bored of it. So, let's look. What are the energies? What are the messages for us for the 12th of September 2018? For all of us watching this, needing this, dear universe, source of everything, please guide me. Okay, let's look. What do we have? We have death. <gasps> death is appearing quite often in in my per personal reading, so I think it's the theme of transformation. Uh, Reoccurring. The second card is Ten of Swords, which is ruin. It doesn't look very well together, does it? So something's ending. Something terrible, perhaps, or the ending is terrible, maybe. And the last one is Eight of Wands, which is swiftness. Okay, so what do we have here? We have one major arcana and two minors. So it seems that... Uh, the main theme here is this transformation which may seem very terrible. Oh, people are often afraid of, uh, of this card. There's no escape from it. And it may look terrible and even more terrible when we realize it's inevitable. But you need to understand that death in Taro doesn't mean death in, in real life. It's a symbol of transformation. That's why we see the butterflies here. Uh, what happens when a caterpillar turns into butterfly is the death of the caterpillar. The whole entity is transformed thoroughly. There's nothing left out of the old body. And the new appears as a beautiful, living creature. So, this process demands courage. How do we find courage? I think it's a question of decision, and a very quick one very often. Not ruminating. Very often it's about just stopping thinking. That's why I think the Ten of Swords appears here. Of course it can be that. In order to transform you need to end something. And perhaps you need to end it very swiftly. Uh, because the longer 
it takes, the more painful it is. But what I think, what the message here is that in order to transform, in order to find courage, in order to uh, let yourself go beyond what is and what is known to you and how do you perceive yourself, you need to stop thinking. <laughs> swords are about mind. Ten of swords is many, many thoughts, which may be overwhelming, which may, may be terrifying. And the more you let yourself, the more you let your brain, the more you let your mind produce visions of the future and how bad it can be, the more scared you are and less open to this transformation. There is even a technique uh, of counting backwards when you need to do something and you don't want to let your brain stop you because your brain is genius at stopping you. Our minds are absolute geniuses in stopping us because they want to make us safe. And when you are safe, you are safe when, when you don't change, when you don't move, when you're in a safe place, when you're guarded and you don't need to change anything, then you're safe because this is known. If you want to transform, you need to leave this position. You need to move. So your mind will tell you, oh, don't do it. It's dangerous. So if you want to stop it, or if you don't want to let it happen, you count backwards. You think, okay, I'll do this and that, and then you just count five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. I do it. It's a very simple technique and surprisingly effective. I mean, it's a cheap trick, isn't it? <laughs> but it works. Your mind can be, I think it is plain enough to be caught on this, you know, on counting backwards. Easy peasy. You just don't let your imagination to start. You give your mind work so it can't produce these terrible visions of Ten of Swords, because the mind can be very productive in this. So it's about swiftness of decision, I think. It's about quick decision and quitting ruminating, quitting overthinking, quitting thinking at all, because this kind of thinking is counterproductive and it doesn't go well with transformation. And the transformation is the theme. Transformation is good to you because it lets you taste life, taste new things in life. So just count backwards and jump. And the rainbow <laughs> is yours. It's all yours. You can You can enter the colors into your life if you let them. If you don't let your mind be your terrible and severe guard. That's the message for Wednesday. Quick decisions without thinking. Because thinking is, I think, overpriced these days. Okay? I wish you a beautiful day and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.